Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that. Right, folks, um, what we've done today. Um, today, I've put in another bed here, and I've, I've filled it and I've also planted. And what we've put in is a combination of um, cucumbers on the back, back five posts, along with some sweet peas dotted in. Then on the front here, I've, or on, on the sides, I've got uh, clammy French beans and sweet peas. Now I've added 12 tomato plants into the back here. Um, I've created a nice sturdy frame. It's not going to come down in the wind. And that will support the tomatoes. It's also tied into this frame which supports the French beans. I was hoping to get these beds all planted out with the flowers but I've not got round to it. But I have um, sprinkled some Californian poppies fruit crush mix they've gone in into all four of these beds okay let's go and have a look in the look around here you can see the, the flower beds are all growing nicely everything seems to be have taken all the golden raspberries, the gooseberries um, and the loganberries are all doing well. I've got spare cosmos over here. Um, I've got some leeks, I've got still got some um, I've got pansies and I've got some hollyhocks left on here. Right, if we come into the tunnel um, Lettuces are doing well, we've taken some out um, and today what I've been busy doing and yesterday um, sowing seeds. Uh, today I've done some delphinium, um, that's these ones here. Uh, and I've also done some of these, sweet rocket mix. Um, we've done two trays of those there. Just got to keep these dry. Let's put them over here so they don't get wet. Um, there's nothing happening on the... Well, I've had to move some of the delphiniums and that around. And the, the other five trays here are all poppies, oriental. Um, mixed with dahlias, tomatoes, they're all lovely plants. Um, got foxgloves here, two trays, uh, various uh, dwarf dahlias, we've got various dahlias here, showpiece ones there at the top there, um, got lavender what I've sewn up here, as I say we've got the two different types of lupins, um, the mixed perennials are growing, um, when they get Another couple, another maybe another week and a half, two weeks, then they'll be transplanted into pots. Got a surplus amount of foxgloves, um, zinnias, the um, carrots. <laughs> They're all doing well in these pots. Um, a few more tomatoes over there. Let's have a quick look in the bottom tunnel because I've had to move a lot of things out the top tunnel into the bottom one uh, to make room and uh, over here we've got the Bishop's Children Dahlias uh, we've got Rudebeckia they need transplanting at the back uh, these are showpiece dahlias. I want to get these into the ground. Um, that will probably be Monday because it's forecast a wet day tomorrow. These are Victoria rhubarb plants. They all need transplanting. Um, we've got Bishop's children dahlias there that need to be done. You know, I'm wondering whether they are. They don't look... Uh, no, I think it's. I've put the label on the wrong one. They're pom-pom. You can tell by the colour of the leaves. 
Um, over there more dwarf dahlias, we've got chrysanthemum, um, showpiece dahlias, look at the size of those plants, they need to go in. Um, we've got chrysanthemum over there, more bishop children dahlias, dwarf dahlias, um, zinnias, um, there's showpiece dahlias. Hollyhocks, there's nine hollyhocks there. A tray full of zinnias there, they need transplanting. Um, we've got early flowering pansies, a couple of pots of those. And we've got uh, snapdragons, we've got a few hundred plants of those. So that's basically it, that's what's happening. Um, it's forecast rain for tonight apparently. Um, not a lot else really to say today, I don't think. I'm, um, I'm a bit rushed for time. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that and uh, hope you're enjoying your weekend. Okay, bye.